Hello and welcome to my channel Paper Crafts. In this tutorial, we learn how to make an illuminated figure of Lord Ganesha this Diwali. This illuminated figure of Lord Ganesha is a perfect decoration piece for you and your house this Diwali season. Follow the steps in the video and make your own illuminated Lord Ganesha with different designs and decorate your home this Diwali. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel Paper Crafts. Let us start making this illuminated figure of Lord Ganesha. To make this candle illuminated Lord Ganesha, you may need a stapler, cello tape, some glue, candle, matchstick, a pair of scissors, a glass jar, a square sheet of paper of thickness at least 200 GSM, and we need two copies of printed design of Lord Ganesha. We need two copies of this. The painting of Lord Ganesh should be of the abstract type. That is, it should have only black and white within the black portions. You may find this design anywhere on the internet and you can print it using your printer. Make two copies of the same design. Let us start making the candle illuminated Lord Ganesha. To make the candle illumination of Lord Ganesha, we need to cut the thicker sheet. We need to cut the thicker sheet into shapes of this black color. We don't need these white ones, only we need the shapes of the black color and we need these shapes on the thicker sheet. So for that we'll be doing is we'll cut this shape cut a rough square around the image like this now take the thicker sheet of paper that is at around 200 GSM now staple this image on this thicker sheet staple the image on all the sides so that the image doesn't move Now what we need to do is, we need to cut all these black sections and the thicker sheet will also cut along with the upper diagram or the upper printout. Let's start doing this. Cut precisely according to the shape. Make sure you cut both the sheets together. You can use stapler whenever you need so that the paper doesn't move around. We have cut the first section of the Lord Ganesha's image like this. In the same way cut all the other black sections. We have done the first one. Repeat the same thing on all the remaining ones. Once we have done cutting on all the shapes of the Ganesha's picture we need, what we need to do next is we will take the second printout of the picture and we will stick all these pieces on the respective pieces on this the second printout the purpose for this is that when we will wrap this paper around the glass jar with the candle this, this, this hard sheet, the thick sheet will block the light from the jar while this thin sheet will allow the white paper to illuminate creating a very good effect of the illuminated Lord Ganesha so let's begin pasting these pieces on the image we have printed on the simple A4 size sheet take some glue and 
start pasting these pieces on the printout we have in the same way stick all these pieces to the printout once we have pasted all the pieces of the cuttings to the image of lord ganesha this is how it will look like now we have a image of lord ganesha of two types of paper which is made of made of two types of paper one is the thick one that has the shapes of lord ganesha and the other is the thinner paper that will allow the light to pass now after we have done this keep this sheet aside and let it dry for some time in the meanwhile take the glass jar take the glass jar and take the candle now what we need to do is we need to stick the base of the candle to to the inside of the jar so that the candle doesn't fall when we uh, light it or when we pick up the jar you can either glue it or you can just heat the base of the candle and press it on the middle of the jar so that the candle sticks to the middle of the jar once the sheet has dried up and you have pasted the candle to the base of the jar next we need to do is we need to wrap this sheet containing the image of lord ganesha around this jar you can use glue or cello tape to wrap this sheet around the jar apply cello tape to keep the sheet in place and you are done now what you need to do is just light the candle in the jar and the illuminated lord ganesha will be ready you may use different patterns of lord ganesha's abstract images as per your likings to make your illuminated lord ganesha hope you liked my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel paper crafts Thank you for watching.